Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Natalie. I create all kinds of home and lifestyle type videos here on my channel. And today we're doing another home decor haul, which is funny because I know I recently said I was calming down on the hauls, but unfortunately lately, well, fortunately or unfortunately lately, there have just been some really great deals I couldn't pass up. And this is actually a collective haul from several trips kind of put together over the past few weeks. Um, so it's not, it wasn't just one big haul, but I did find a couple things that I wanted to share with y'all because they were really good finds and I'm hoping y'all will be able to find similar things in your local stores. So I have things here from Target, from Goods, and then also from the antique store, which of course you won't be able to get those, but I did really want to share them with y'all in today's haul. So let's go ahead and start with the antique pieces and then we'll do home goods and then Target last. So I did just get a couple of things from my local antique store. We have a really great antique store near us, like pretty reasonably priced with really um, good, unique items. And if y'all watched my antique shop with me and haul that I did when I went and visited my friend Elizabeth um, in South Carolina, I mentioned that I had been looking for some like vintage rolling pins um, and I ended up finding two in my antique store. I'm not sure like how vintage they are um, really, but I mean, they look kind of old, so I'm just gonna go with it. Um, this is the first one. It's just really basic rolling pin. I like that it's got like really long handles. Um, it's just a pretty, pretty neutral brown color. It's kind of like a more orangey wood, which honestly, I feel like that's how wood was kind of back in the day these tones were more common. So that's how it kind of makes me feel like it's old. Um, and then you can kind of see there's some wear and tear on it. So this was one of them. I believe this one was $4 and then this one was $5. I really liked this one because it's a little bit lighter and you can definitely see some like imperfections on it. Um, and then I really liked the shape of the handle. It's a little bit unique and this one is a lot bigger. I have these, well, the one that I found last time kind of in a bowl, um, in a basket on top of my fridge with like a tea towel. So I think that these, because they have like kind of different handles, this one's a little bit long and longer and skinnier. And this one's got this cool like curved detail that they'll lay all kind of really nice together and look, you know, collected. I was really happy when I found these at the antique store. So I got those and then I saw this bowl and I could not resist it. Look at how gorgeous this wood bowl is. It's got tape on it still from where the tag was, but this was $15. And I'm honestly, I mean, I'm not sure how old it is, but it looks old to me. It's pretty big. I love the tone of the wood. You can see on like the bottom and the back, there's some definite distressing on it. The inside you can tell is definitely worn. Um, and I really like kind of how unfinished it looks around the edges. It's just got a really, some really cool detail to it. Um, this is the same like wood tone as my dining room table. So I have a couple of thoughts for this. I right now I have a dough bowl on my buffet table in my dining room, but I like this better than the dough bowl that I have. Um, cause that one is just from Hobby Lobby and this one to me like looks like it has a lot more character. So this could maybe go there. I could maybe style it on my dining room table, like on top of the runner that I have and like put some things in it like some plants or um, like greenery, I mean, or some bowl filler. I'm totally not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but I couldn't pass it up. I, I did not have a plan in mind and I just knew when I saw it, it had to go in my house. It'd be really pretty on like the kitchen island too with some fruit in it if I wanted to switch out my baskets for this for a different season. Um, and it'd be pretty for serveware as well. I'd probably put a dish towel in it and then put like biscuits or cookies in it or something for like serveware, which is something I don't have a lot of. So I kind of convinced myself this would be worth it because even if I didn't use it in decor right away, I could always use it for that purpose. So let's just go with that. So that was all that I got from the antique store. From Home Goods, I got three things. One item I don't have with me right now because it's downstairs already styled, but I'll insert a clip of it. It was this gorgeous green weathered planter. It is so pretty. It was only 20 bucks, I think. It's huge, heavy. It's got drainage hole in it, so you can put a real plant in it. It's got these beautiful, like, brassy kind of um, colored handles on it. It is so stunning. I saw it and I thought this is a steal for 20 bucks. So I bought it and I put a plant in it and it's in my entryway and I love the way the green like pops off of the black um, board and batten wall. So that's what I where I have it currently. Um, I saw a lot of good planters for really reasonable price, like huge 
white like stone looking planters for like 20 bucks at my um, home goods TJ Maxx. So y'all should check it out. I was really surprised at the prices for those, honestly. So if you're looking for like a big planter to either put a faux, like a faux greenery or real, or like a faux tree in, or to put something real in, I would check out um, Home Goods for sure. And then the other thing that I got was this vase. How stinking beautiful is this vase, you guys? This was only $12.99. Look how huge it is. It's like bigger than my head. It is so beautiful. I could not get over this. Um, I love the shape of it. I love the detail. It looks very aged, but at the same time, it doesn't look, I don't know. It just, it is really gonna fit with my style, I think. And I have absolutely no idea where this is going. Another thing I bought with not much in mind for, but like I knew if I didn't pick it up, I'd never see it again. And I've been back to that same TJ Maxx and it's not been there. So. I knew it was a good find when I saw it. I knew it was a great price and I'm really glad that I picked it up because it will get used somewhere. Um, it could definitely go on shelves. It could definitely go in my entry, guest room, master. Honestly, I might change out some things in there. So I'm glad that I got this. I'm really doing some makeovers like with a lot of different rooms in my house right now, starting with the foyer makeover that's coming soon. But um, I really wanna redo this room. This is what I call the babe cave, um, but it's like my office. And I have some ideas for this room that I think would be really cool. And then I really want to redo my half bath downstairs. I've been saying that for a long time. So there's definitely some big projects coming. And I figured if I kind of had some things, even if I didn't have a specific purpose for them, there might be a purpose for them coming up soon. So we'll see. Maybe that's not the best way to do things, but I do keep receipts just in case I really don't use something or think I won't use it, then I can just return it. Okay. And then the other thing I got from TJ Maxx, the only other thing was this really beautiful, um, hand soap. It's just like a glass hand soap container with kind of like a dark, it's like a dark nickel kind of colored spout. Um, it says it's coconut lemon is the flavor hand wash, but I love this. It's a really heavy glass bottle. It was $6. Um, and I'm going to put this in my guest bathroom. We were out of soap in there anyway. And I thought I'd buy something pretty that I could just refill, um, kind of in the future. So I was happy to find that. And then we have Target, just a few things from Target. I found this little, um, like reed diffuser in the, excuse me, my kids, um, in the dollar section, which I've never seen them before and I don't think they were there today when I went, um, but this is the scent Honey Jasmine. I can't even tell how it smells, but it was $3, so I kind of don't care because <laughs> these are usually like $10 to $15. Um, so for $3, it only comes with four reeds, so it probably won't last that long, but I am really into these lately because I'm trying to burn less candles in my house because, come over here, um, because I get a little nervous burning candles and like that I'm gonna forget about them. So I've been really trying to put some of these in like every room so that there's at least like a little bit of nice new scent in a room. Um, so I picked this one up. I honestly probably should have bought more, but I thought $3 for that was a really good deal. Then I saw on clearance this beautiful, I don't even know if I realized it was double-sided. Um, this beautiful pillow from Hearth and Hand. It is like a beige linen with little blue stripes and then the back is like a worn kind of blue color. This was on sale for $13.99 and I believe it was probably like 20 bucks originally. Um, yeah, it was originally $19.99. So I got it for almost half off, which I thought was pretty good considering it's a Hearth and Hand pillow. I love this. This will go great with like my spring decor in the living room. Um, and when I saw that it was on sale, I was like, I'm going to snatch it up because I love the designs of her pillows. I love the linen texture and I feel like you can never get her stuff on sale. So I had to get that because it always sells out before the end of the season. So it's never like, they're not trying to get rid of it ever, but this piece for whatever reason, I think somebody probably returned it. And so it was marked down. I have two miscellaneous little pieces from Target that I'm gonna just share because we talk about home decor here, but we also talk about life. Um, so I picked up a new agenda. I love this little planner. I thought it was so pretty. My current planner only goes through June and I have a lot of plans for the end of the year. I'm, um, I'm, my sister-in-law is getting married at the end of this year and I'm in her wedding. So we have like her, you know, showers and bachelorette trips and things like that, that are kind of coming down the pipeline that I really need to have an agenda that goes or a planner that goes through the end of this year. So I can kind of have all my dates in front of me. Um, so I went ahead and picked this one up. I thought it was just, I mean, how cute is that? It's a weekly, monthly. So the way I like to have my planners is, um, 
it's different than what I used to do when I was in grad school, but now the way I'm liking it is to have like the whole week and then like a to-do list for the week. Because now that my days are kind of like the days I'm at work, I'm working and then I might get a chance to check off something off my to-do list after, but more than likely it's going to be more for like my weekends that I have to-dos that I need to get done. But I'd rather just have kind of a to-do list for the week in general. And then under the days, I usually write like work or if I'm not working and then like whatever my workout's going to be that day. Um, and like if I have any specific plans for that day. So I don't usually need a lot of space because usually in one day I'm not doing that much. Um, so anyways, I really like that. And then it's got like the monthly view. It kind of has like the full month calendar and then your like goals for the month and then like a monthly to do list, which I really like, especially for doing YouTube videos. I like that because I can kind of have on my radar, like these are the videos I'm going to film this month, or these are some things I want to accomplish this month. Like this month I want to redo this room or get started on this room or whatever. So anyways, I know that's kind of random, but I thought this was really cute. I've never seen this brand before at Target. It's called Think Inc. And I just thought it was something a little bit different than what I was using um, previously, which was the um, sugar paper planner, which I also really liked. But and then last fun little random item are these slippers. These are from Stars Above and they are like a Sherpa like crisscross slipper um, with a really nice like hard sole bottom. So I get them in a large because I wear a size 10 shoe. I have really big feet and I actually have a pair from the same brand from last year, I think. And I've just worn them out. Like they just need to be replaced. They're white fur like they kind of get gross and dirty so it was just time to replace them and these are only $15 so it was kind of like I'll just go ahead and get my new pair for um this season and I was kind of thinking they weren't going to have like fuzzy slippers anymore since like winter they're transitioning all their stuff to spring but personally I like fuzzy slippers regardless of the season so I went ahead and got those okay and last but not least something really fun that I found was this tree if you can't see it, it is an olive tree from Studio McGee. I think it's from Studio McGee. It's from uh, Threshold. It just says Threshold. So I'm not sure if it was part of her line or not, but this olive tree y'all is so beautiful. First of all, the planter that it comes in is like a matte black, beautiful. It's got the moss. It's got a really realistic looking trunk. Um, and then the branches are all really nice looking as well. It is not that tall. It's only probably it's 40 inches tall so it's not too too tall but I did want a olive, an olive tree and honestly the ones at Hobby Lobby that I think are maybe a little bit bigger than this they're like $60 and this one is just the most realistic looking for the price that I've seen um honestly they had some little like potted plants in the same area that were like this tall like a pot for 30 bucks so I was like for 30 or 35 you get like a plant that goes on a counter, but for 40, you can get a plant that stands on its own. Like that seemed pretty, it seems like a pretty good deal for this tree. So I went ahead and bought it. I'm gonna try it in a couple places in my home. And if it doesn't work, then I'll just return it. But um, I kind of had a few ideas for it. I kind of want something in my guest room um, on the chair that I have there in the corner. And I figured that would give this some really nice height and it might be the perfect thing. So to kind of give some like um, vertical decor to that space. So we will see, but I think it's beautiful. It would be really pretty in a bathroom um, depending on how much space you have. And yeah, I just, I had to get it. So anyways, y'all, that is everything. I guess it wasn't that much, but um, it's kind of good for me to just like film the haul. That way I can start decorating with the pieces because um, that's my favorite part, honestly. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If my foyer reveal video is not out yet, by the time y'all see this, it's because I am waiting on one thing to be done. I we're building a foyer table and I really need my husband to make the cuts in the wood for me because I did, I did some of it already, but honestly, I was not super comfortable using the circular saw. So, cause I have to cut the wood at an angle and it just, I didn't feel very in control of it. So I'm waiting on him to make those cuts and then I can put the table together and it should be done super quick. But that's the last thing that needs to get done, which is kind of like the main thing. So if this video comes out first, it means we're still working on that foyer project, the table project. 
but otherwise if this comes out after then you know disregard what i'm saying right now but um anyways i hope y'all enjoyed this video please let me know if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel leave me a comment below share it with a friend um, i'm really working hard at making this something that i'm consistent with because i really want to focus this year on doing things that actually bring me joy and that I feel like I can um, be creative with and my you know my day job doesn't always give me the ability to create in a way that I think part of my brain is really wired to so that's what I have this for and I'm really grateful for it and I would love to continue to make these kind of videos for y'all so i had to say i'm really grateful if you're here and would love to have you stay permanently by subscribing um that would mean a lot to me and anyways yeah you guys i will see y'all really soon in my next video thanks for watching bye